Ah, hello there. So, Wade here. And I just got done doing a podcast. And if you didn't know, I actually do a podcast every week. And you can check it out on iTunes. I'll put a link down below. It's just called The Wade Alter Show. So definitely check that out. And if you've been following it for a while, you know that I took a little time off. But I'm back on it consistently here. And something that I hear often from guys, I've seen this in comments, as well as coaching clients that are just getting started with their businesses, is they'll say, man, how are you doing this? You got the videos coming out every week. You got the podcast. We have the syndicate members where we do a group coaching call there. I just added a VIP book club where we're giving book recommendations and they're helping out with that or they're going through that. We have the private Facebook group plus private coaching clients plus managing employees, managing finances. And that doesn't even include the rest of my life, like going to the gym, eating food, hanging out with my girlfriend, friends and family. And so that very easily for a lot of people could seem like too much and work-life balance and how do you figure all that out? And that's what this video is gonna be all about. And what it really comes down to is there's this guiding principle that I've followed for a long time now that I learned from Jim Rohn. And what he calls, he calls it the whirling dervish effect. And what it is is if you wanted to follow around a hyper successful person for a week and you were doing it 24 seven, just hanging out with this person, at the end of the week, you're gonna be completely exhausted and saying, no wonder he's successful. Look at all he's doing. And for me, that's just been the decision of saying, I just need to do more and more, add more value, reach more people, and keep on doing more, build the systems in a way that I can do all that. And we're gonna talk about in a second how specifically I do that. But the first step is, is just realizing that there is no easy path here. There is no simple path. It's complexity and systems and really using that and using different habits so that you can do all these things all the time. And so if I think about uh, another principle that we talk about a lot within the company, within Wade Alters Consulting, that I'm always trying to tell my employees is one of the earliest lessons I learned is that I try to look at the business sort of sequentially and linearly. And so I do, okay, we're doing this product launch and I'm solely gonna focus on this product launch, but all of a sudden the free content would fall off, the podcast would fall off, or the videos, I hadn't been doing videos for a while. And what I realized is, or what I learned, is what I call the Lee Iacocca principle. And what this is, is Lee Iacocca, I was reading his biography, and he brought back Chrysler from the brink of bankruptcy in the 80s. He also ended up being the CEO of GM at a later date. And whenever people asked him, okay, what were the steps that you took to bring it back from bankruptcy? He said, steps? There were no steps. We did everything all the time, all at once, the marketing, firing people, fixing cars, it all needed to happen at the same time because they were, again, like on the brink of death here. And so that's something that we're always trying to implement within the company because I've made the mistake in the past where all of a sudden we're doing a huge product launch and you gotta have all that mental bandwidth and you're focusing in on that, but you can't let the free content go away. You can't let the videos like this fall to the wayside or the podcast fall to the wayside or all of a sudden you forget about expenses and boom, everything else falls apart. And I see this all the time with guys is that we're really like cavemen mentality there where we are hoping that, okay, this is something you hear all the time. I used to think this way too, it's like, okay, I'm just gonna go out and get my dating life handled. I'm gonna go out three, four, five, six nights a week to really figure that area I'm out, learn the social skills, and build the harem up, and then I'm good there. Then I'm gonna switch over to business, tie that one off, get on to business. All of a sudden I'll have the finances getting taken care of, I'll focus on that for a year or two, tie that baby off, then I'm gonna focus on my health. And you can't do that because everything else just falls to the wayside. You really need to look at it, again, the Iacocca principle, do all of it, all the time, at once. And the only way that you can do that is that we only have so much mental bandwidth. So what you need to do is habitualize your success. And what I mean by this is like, let's look at this for example here. We'll use a business example and then a life example. Is this process, I have two guys in this room here with me. We got the podcast set up. I have somebody else edit that. I have somebody else edit the videos. We have the whole release. There's three guys that all they do is work on the social media management, uh, you know, email marketing, all those things. And there's specific processes that did not work at the start things fell through the cracks. I had to do all that, I, I know how to do all that, but then instead of just consistent or continuing to be doing all the shit all the time, you do, you compartmentalize it, you package it up into a little thing, and then you can go on into higher level, more and more meta level things. So when it comes to work-life balance, you could do this with, let's say, your diet. An example of that is set aside a certain amount of time where you're getting all the cookbooks, you're trying all the recipes out, you're playing with all these things, and all of a sudden you come up with a dozen, 15, 20 different sort of cool dishes, 
And then all of a sudden you can go back to work. And now for me during lunchtime, I'm not like, oh, what type of salad should I make or something like that? I got the three in my mind. Boom, I can just do it automatically. I know it's gonna taste good and I know it's fast. It makes my grocery shopping easier. And that comes from a habit. You look at just something as basic as driving is again, you don't have the conscious bandwidth to focus on shifting the gear, putting in the clutch, turning on the ignition, playing with the radio, on your cell phone at the same time. But what those are, they're all little packages, all little compartmentalized habits that you can internalize, and then you're actually doing some really high-level shit when you're driving the car. You wanna look at your life in the same way. Package these things up, but don't let everything else fall to the wayside. And this is one of the most consistent things I'll see with guys, just that imbalance to where they're focused on their career, they're focused on their dating life, but everything else is just falling to the wayside. Or maybe even within one area, let's say you're focusing on your health, you're going to the gym five days a week, but your diet is shit, or you're not sleeping enough, or you're addicted to coffee and stimulants. You gotta have a system where everything is working and running on all cylinders. And again, this is one of the most consistent things I see. It's actually one of the six different lifestyle types. And so if you haven't heard of me talking about the lifestyle types before, we actually created a tool. I call it the lifestyle analysis tool. It's totally free, it takes 30 seconds. You just answer a few little questions. And it's actually, it's a lot of fun. What happens is you'll see what your lifestyle type is. And then I created a huge presentation, a nice long presentation explaining what the lifestyle type is. And even more importantly, what the blind spot is that's holding you back from reaching the next level, from really leveling up your lifestyle. So what I'll do is uh, I'll create a little link, put a little link over here, you can click on that. Like I said, it's totally free, the presentation is totally free, and figure out what your lifestyle type is, what blind spot you have, and then I'll give you the solution. So check that out, and as always, enjoy.